2023 has been a rough year for Disney. It has been facing box office and critical failures it has never faced before. Release after release, it just seems to be missing the mark. But why has such a big company, which has been known to make billions, been losing so much money lately? The answer is not that simple, but it all boils down to one thing, greed. We are so excited and happy to announce that a live action reimagining of Moana is in the works. Stop it. Get some help. Before I move further, I have to specify that this video will be about the film side of Disney and not their other business ventures. If, if you had it to do over again, would you do any part of it differently? Well, if I had it to do over again, uh, I think, uh, no, I don't think it would. <laughs> I don't know. I hope I don't have to do it over again. <laughs> Disney was founded in 1923 by brothers Walt and Roy Disney as Disney Brothers Studio. It also operated under the names Walt Disney Studio and Walt Disney Productions before changing its name to the Walt Disney Company in 1986. Early in its existence, the company established itself as a leader in the animation industry. After becoming a major success by the early 1940s, the company diversified into live-action films, television and theme parks in the 1950s. Following Walt Disney's death in 1966, the company's profits, especially in the animation division, began to decline. However, the company managed to find its way to the top again with the appointment of Michael Eisner as the head of the company in 1984. This period of success has become well known as the Disney Renaissance. Nothing could stop Disney, but then along came... We're going to be expensive. I think if you can, you can interpret what that word means. In 2005, Bob Iger was made the new CEO of Disney. And this is where the cracks we see in today's Disney started to form. Disney saw new heights under Bob Iger's management, but his plan for reaching those new heights was not so foolproof as time has proven. What Bob decided to do was instead of continuing to beat the competition by making great and creative content, he would just buy out the competition and win it all that way. And so the company started to expand and acquire other corporations. In the following years, they bought Marvel, Lucasfilm, 20th Century Fox, National Geographic and many more brands and properties. And with all these acquisitions, Disney slowly started to lose its identity. And this brings us to modern day Disney and its many problems. People gravitated towards Disney because of how the magic filled company offered an escape from reality with its unique, creative and fun stories. But this cannot be said about today's Disney. Disney today has lost all that magic like I said before, the company established itself as a leader in the animation industry, but that is far from what they are known for today. Creatively, modern Disney is bankrupt. All they just do is churn out sequels and live-action remakes of their well-beloved animated movies. In the past few years, they have remade most of their animated classics into live-action adaptations, and the question is why? Modern Disney is more business driven than it ever was in the past. They're in the business of making money and they know these nostalgia bait movies already have a built in fan base and therefore it's easier to make a ton of money using them. At least that was the case until recently. Since 2020, none of the live action remakes have done well and with the next upcoming remake already having so much backlash, it looks like this trend won't stop soon and that's because audiences have proven that they aren't as dumb and gullible as Disney previously thought because slapping a new coat of paint over something and calling it new doesn't make it new or you creative, all you're doing is just digging a grave for your company. Now, the problems of acquiring other brands didn't really start to affect Disney until recently. And before I move further, I know Disney has a lot of brands and IPs they are ruining, but to drive this point across, I'm going to use Marvel as my example because they are the easiest example of something getting ruined because of Disney's greed. Disney acquired Marvel in 2009, way before Thanos and the domination of the Infinity Saga. Marvel already had a plan for what they were going to do in the next years, 
and Disney didn't intervene most likely because they didn't think that Marvel had the potential to become as big as it is today. They let the Infinity Saga play out as planned, but they were not going to leave Marvel alone after seeing it churn out billion-dollar movies one after the other. So, after the Infinity Saga ended, Disney started to intervene. We're going to be expensive. I think if you can, you can interpret what that word means. They decided, instead of letting Marvel take the same route they did, to craft what most people would consider one of the best sagas in movie history, they would instead milk them for everything they got at the expense of quality. And with all these lacklustre projects flooding the market, Disney managed to kill their most profitable cash cow. Pixar, Star Wars and all their other IPs have or are going through the same fate as well because Disney doesn't care about putting out great stories anymore. It just cares about getting back tons of money no matter the cost. So, thanks to all of this, Disney is not only dragging itself down, but it's taking most of Hollywood with it. So, can Disney be fixed? Well, the answer is, it simply cannot, at least without changing the inner workings of the company and seeing that Bob Eager recently came back into the driving seat and their plans for the future keep getting worse and worse, I think it's going to be a long time before the magic returns.